experience is inherently intelligible. The world is the way it is independently of us, but we can only know it through our conceptual capacities. Perception is a capacity to have thoughts about the world that are responsive to it in a certain way. The animal must already inhabit a world of meaning in order to be able to acquire a language. Perception is already a way of being responsive to the world. Conceptual capacities are the means by which we impose meaning on a brute array of sensations. We are, in a sense, trapped within our own language, but this does not mean that we cannot have objective knowledge of the world. The space of reasons is not something that we construct or invent, but rather something that we discover or uncover. The structure of the world is something that we can only grasp through our conceptual capacities. The challenge of philosophy is to make explicit what is already implicit in our everyday practices. We can only have knowledge of the world if we are already in a position to make judgments about it. The mind is not a container that can be filled with knowledge, but rather a capacity for making judgments. The normative dimension of our lives is not something that we can reduce to the natural or the empirical. Reasons are not brute facts that we discover, but rather normative considerations that we invent. The space of reasons is not something that we can step outside of, but rather something that we are always already within. There is no unmediated access to reality, but rather our access to reality is always mediated by our conceptual capacities. The normative dimension of our lives is not something that we can do without, but rather something that we must have in order to make sense of the world. The challenge of philosophy is to reconcile our naturalistic and normative perspectives on the world. We cannot have objective knowledge of the world without being able to take up a normative stance towards it. Philosophy is not a matter of finding new facts, but rather of making explicit what is already implicit in our practices and beliefs.